of our lives, many of us go through experiences that both challenge us, inspire us, and touch our hearts profoundly. For me, when I grew up in church, we had this one program that we did every year at church called the Christmas Hamper Program. It touched my heart so much. I look forward to it every single year. It's an opportunity for us as a church to be able to gather some food together for those that were less fortunate or just going through a difficult time and to give a little bit of hope. And that thought never left me. And so when we started to gather together and Sandra and I started to pray about coming to Kingston and starting Impact Church, one of the things that was on our minds constantly was this idea of we want to make a difference in people's lives. We want to reach our community. We want to be a part of the solution to what is going on in the city of Kingston and the surrounding region. As a matter of fact, our very first vision meeting for the church, we read a passage of scripture in Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 16, and it says this, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. And this amazing idea of Hands of Hope was created. And on December the 20th, 2008, we started our first ever Hands of Hope blessing 31 families in our city. And it has been just an amazing ride ever since. Every family that receives at Hands of Hope gets two big bins of food that include everything for a full turkey Christmas dinner and enough for two weeks of groceries for their family. And um, we just love doing this to help for more of an extended period of time over Christmas. They also receive gifts for all of their children under 18. And it is so special because these are hand-selected gifts by our gift team. And they are also wrapped for the kids just to show some extra love and care. The reason we started doing Hands of Hope in the first place is because we really believe that what people need to know is that there is hope beyond their current circumstance, beyond what they're going through. And we believe that there's only one hope that actually can transform your life, and that's Jesus Christ. The way we see Hands of Hope is that it is simply an open door, and we use things like food, things like presents, to be able to actually communicate a much more important message, and that is that there's a God who sees them, there's a God who loves them, there's a God who knows them. And Jesus also says that we are to meet practical needs. And so when we're doing Hands of Hope, it's not just about doing a program, it's actually about displaying the heart of Jesus. He had such a heart of compassion. He met needs, but he met needs on every level. He met, met people's needs, spirit, soul, and body. And so what we wanna do through Hands of Hope is we wanna be more than just a social service program. We wanna be more than just a food hamper project. What we wanna do is we wanna be able to meet some needs, yes, on a practical level, and be able to help people through difficult circumstances. But we also want them to know that there's something beyond that. Maybe their circumstance itself won't even change that much, but they can learn to face their circumstance with someone in their life, and that someone is Jesus Christ. To pull together all the many volunteers that make Hands of Hope happen, we have a bunch of different teams. So the first one is the gift buying team. This is a group of shoppers that go out the week or two before Hands of Hope with lists with all of the kids' information, like their ages and genders, and that gift information of what their parents suggested that they would like and they go out and they prayerfully hand select gifts for each and every child. On the week of Hands of Hope, it starts all coming together with the gift drop off night. And this is when all those shoppers come in with their gifts and it takes a big team because we input all the gifts to make sure we don't buy the same gifts for the kids next year. We put that into our system. We organize to make sure we haven't missed a single kid of the hundreds and hundreds of children. And it is a whole operation. Then from there, usually the next night, we have the gift wrapping night and this takes another huge team of volunteers. It is such a fun night as we all come together and wrap each and every gift. I love the wrapping night because it just shows some extra care and attention to every single kid. We truly believe there's something special about unwrapping a gift, not just getting a gift in its packaging or in a garbage bag or a shopping bag, but a gift that someone took the time to wrap for you. And so we love doing that on the Friday night of the week of Hands of Hope. We also have the facilities team who are working behind the scenes throughout all of the days of Hands of Hope 
To keep everything clean and organized, there's tons of cardboard boxes to break down, garbage to take out, tables to set up and tear down um, throughout the whole event, and so they do an amazing job at that. On the Saturday of Hands of Hope, it starts to all come together with a huge food order that comes from Freshco. It comes to where we're organizing the food, and then we have Team Tetris. Team Tetris is exactly what it sounds like. It's all about sorting and fitting all of the food into the bins, but there being a lot of groceries for each family, there's really only one way that we've perfected over the years that the food fits into those bins. And so it's such a fun time as many dozens of volunteers come together to pack all of those bins in an orderly and just fun way. Delivery team is the culmination of all the preparation and hard work. The delivery team gets to take the food and the gifts and go straight into homes in our community to deliver them. Jesus said to love your neighbor as yourself, and this is what Hands of Hope is all about. We love getting to meet with our neighbors on the delivery team, and it's not just about bringing them the food, it's about stopping and spending time with them and showing them that we care. At Impact, we truly believe that generosity is our privilege, and it is amazing to see this walked out at Hands of Hope. Our church donates thousands upon thousands of dollars to make this outreach happen, and we're just so grateful for their generosity. Not only that, but many organizations in our community donate thousands of dollars of donations as well, and in-kind donations of shoes and coats and clothing and toys and gifts and food and so much more. And so we're so grateful both for our church community and the greater Kingston community that truly shows that generosity is our privilege. At the end of the day, it's all about living like Jesus and loving like Jesus. And Hands of Hope is another way that Jesus can impact people to transform their world.